do a Cancerian. If you're not a Cancerian, take for a fourth house. Reach out for one on one reading. Follow me here on TikTok. Help me get to 1K so I can live stream for y'all. Five of Pentacle in the upright. So we talked a lot about no longer being out in the cold, um, having more agency this cycle that you're entering now newly, but now understanding that you could actually give more and help more and not be so kind of unconscious. This is feeling as though that now you could actually play the game. It could be that you were kind of erroneously taught how to play the game, or maybe not even taught at all. And so this whole, maybe even the past four years, you've had to kind of unlearn and hit rock bottom so that you could build off of a new found appreciation and understanding of nuance and subtle energy. I think that, you know, this is what a lot of us have been going through. And so the fight is not over, but it's not going to be as hard as it used to be. Um, and like I said, you have a lot more agency now. And so your world is going to open up. Now you're not going to feel as though that part of the part of why the fight has been so hard is because there was like a demoralization to the extent that not seeing actual tangible results. And so that may have caused caused self doubt, you know, doing the same thing repetitiously, and not seeing the results. But in your heart, you knew that you were doing the right thing. And it was only a matter of time before, you know, the gates were unlocked, so to speak, astrologically, cosmologically. And so now, in hindsight, you're understanding that this was about the journey of doing the time, so to speak. Not necessarily being incarcerated, but um, having signed up for this uh, almost like self-imposed incarceration without it being something that you consciously selected but the great benefits and, and the great rewards and the lessons and experience and understanding that that's come from it a lot more value to the internal life and the and nuance and subtlety and so that was needed so that anywhere you go you have a greater appreciation for all of these things that you encounter and experience. And you could be an asset and not a liability in that space, wherever you're at. Feels like no action is required right now. More of an ending energy. And I said this in the previous read, it's like a cycle is ending the cycle of having to wait is ending, but ironically, there's just a little bit more waiting that's required so that things could crystallize and solidify. But what's crystallizing and solidifying is like, it's like the final keystone is being placed into this golden arch. That is gonna be the kind of beginning of your legacy. And, you know, the greatest story that you could have told in your lifetime. And the greatest story is one of resiliency. It's one of, uh, you know, humbleness, quietness, and a lot of nuance and subtlety. And it's the wisdom to stay in this kind of um, hermitage that will be remembered. It's not this kind of fireworks and, you know, big displays of um, phenomenology as much as it's the cultivating uh, 
wisdom and value and sticking to it and how you didn't waver in what you knew what was true and, and right and that's why you get the keys to the kingdom here this ten of pentacles 